Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Mini Festival at Brands Hatch. In front of me in this gorgeous British racing green is the Mini Electric, Mini E for short, and today we're going to be having a little bit of a drive of it. Ours and Mini have brought this to the Mini Festival along with their Countryman Hybrid which we unfortunately don't have time to film today, but nonetheless we have a little bit of time to give this a try out so I'm quite excited for that. So first time driving an electric, is that, that right? Uh, no, I've driven an uh, MG5 EV before. Oh brilliant, mm. okay, so it'll be interesting to see how this compares to, to that yeah. as, as well in that case. Especially there. given this is obviously a bit more sporty than that. Yeah, indeed. So it will obviously play a huge a huge role in that, of course. Yeah, no, definitely. So if I can ask you first of all to start up, you want to put your foot on the brake there first of all, mm. and then press the stop start button just here, it'll just fire up. Obviously no uh, roar of the engine no, this time, of course not. but we get the mini start-up procedure there for, for electric. So when you're ready, keeping your foot on the brake, just press the button on the side of the gear shifter there and move it towards you into drive. Ooh. Just press both together. There we go, that's it. And ready, ready, just come off the uh, brake onto the throttle and we can pull away. Excellent. It's very simple and straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. So you can feel the gentle power come gently in there as well, just as we uh, pull away. Yes, of course. So you may have experienced this in the MG as well, but what I'd ask you to do is we come round the cone here yep. and we straighten up. Hey. There we go. If you want to um, accelerate to around about sort of 20, 25 miles an hour. Yeah, sure. And then when you've done that, just come off the throttle and let the car coast to the halt. Ooh. So you can see the car's regenerative braking there is helping the electric machine in the front there to basically charge the battery and that's the fake braking effect. Now as the car is losing speed in that way it will also illuminate the brake lights as well to warn anyone behind that you're slowing in that way. That's very clever. So you can start using that um, to anticipate when you need to slow for like traffic or a roundabout to slow the car without ever having to use the brakes. Okay, that's really cool. So with this car then what's um What's the starting price of these? So the range done? starts around about £28,000 for, for the level one. There is some government support uh, available as well. Through to the top end models, which are uh, yeah, approximately around £35,000 as well. Obviously okay. with any Mini, there are personalisation options are available as well. And yeah, of course. You can spec the car to, to really what, what suits you best. Okay. We've got different driving modes as well. We're in the mid mode at the moment, but if I just put it into sport mode at the moment, there Ooh, we go. We like sport mode. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so what that'll do is a couple of things. It will sharpen the throttle response a little bit and make it a slightly more uh, responsive. And also, as you've already probably noticed, the steering feel has been weighted up as well. So taking as well there, um, that's so that extra weighting to the steering as well. We've got two other modes as well, which I'll just pop you into as well. We've got green mode, which helps save the battery. But we've also got a, a green plus mode, which is actually full battery saving. So what that's doing in the car now is limiting the amount of power that you can use to accelerate, but it's still it's quite swift as you see, it won't be exactly slow at all, there we go. So that's still there. But it does other things here, as you can see, like turn off the air conditioning, again to protect and save power as well. Now typically the car has a range of uh, around about 140 miles um, of typical driving as well. We've, we've had it here today, for example, 70% um, charge with about 60 miles in the range. We've been doing these sorts of laps all, all day and we've still got 32 miles remaining. So, um, you know, with, with uh, the range of the vehicle as well, for most normal uh, people doing journeys and things as well, it's more than adequate. Excellent. I like how as well with the dashboard on this, it lights up as well. That's Does right. that change so, depending on the modes? That's right. So the different displays we've got there, at the moment it's showing as a representation of the battery charge level. But it also does as well if we adjust the heater controls, for example. It oh indicates gosh. that as well, where we are. Or if we were reversing and using the parking sensors, for example, again, that would illuminate to indicate when you're getting close to something as well, alongside the, uh, the beach. So Mini do try and have these little nice uh, fun features of the car to make it fun. And we've got, we look back a year ago when this model first came out. Um, and none of us, I'll be honest, were concerned that you know it would look like a Mini, but would it drive and feel like a Mini? And as you can see from yourself now, the steering feel, the handling, the ride, are just like a Mini. Yeah, of course. We're now electrically powered. So Excellent. It's certainly an exciting time. Yes, yeah, so I met someone um, earlier this year actually at uh, Retro Rides Weekender. All oh, right. He went there in his uh, retro Volkswagen mm. and he said he bought one of these as his daily drive yeah. because of the miles he did every day. He said, you know, it's been excellent, been very good, very affordable, very quick. You know, obviously the speed and power of the mm. Cooper S, but 
just fully electric. And, and this is the thing as well that you know, for us as enthusiasts, you know, we'll always have our, our hobby here, these cars here as well. Oh, of it's course, like when, yeah. You know, everybody was riding horses back a hundred plus years ago. You know, horses didn't disappear. People enjoyed them as a hobby and fun. But for transport, they look cars. In the same way in the future, EVs will do that. But the Mini Electric proves that they don't have to be boring. You know, they can be great, great fun as well at the same time. No, of course. You know, you, your friend as well there was talking about, obviously, the cost of ownership. You know, with the servicing costs on these, for example, aside, obviously, the savings on fuel, we're mm. not changing oil, we're not changing spark plugs. So, you know, the wear and tear of them is, is a much less than it would be on a comparative uh, petrol or diesel car, indeed. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's quite a nice old car, I really like it. As we're lapping on our own, if we come back round the cone at the end, we can do yeah, the can slalom. Do slalom. Um, you can normally take the slalom around about sort of 15 miles an hour without okay. any, any trouble. Okay, well, let's give it a go then, yeah, shall we? Right. Got to remember, not a professional racing driver. No, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we, we were told only low speeds today, so... It'd be great going around the track with those guys, but... Oh, it would be, <laughs> but... Uh... And if you want to go full lot, you can see the tight turning circle the car got. It makes it tremendously, um, you mm. know, manoeuvrable in the city. Yep. There we go. And if we want to go back around again through the cones... It's very responsive, isn't it? Mm. I mean, you've got then with the uh, electric uh, machine, that maximum torque there from zero revs. So it's not like in a, a conventional ICE car where you need to let the revs build to get that full performance of the engine. It's there straight away. Yeah, of course. Just put your foot down and yeah. it goes. Fantastic. Excellent. No, that's a really nice little car. I also really like the colour of this one. Yeah, <laughs> this racing green is, is uh, such an iconic colour. Yeah. So before we obviously have to yeah. stop playing with this, <laughs> <laughs> so what are the uh, specs that this comes in? I, I believe there's three different That's modes? That's correct. So we've got basically at the moment the three main uh, trim levels. There's level one, this one we're in today which is level two and also level three as well. We've also got an exclusive model available as well at the moment obviously which is in conjunction with the, the new range as, as well. So the, the trim levels are in comparative with similar ones on the Cooper S range okay. at the same time. Okay. That's a very nice little car. No, fantastic. I say it gives you a little taste. I know driving around in circles today. Uh, yeah, of but course. It gives you a little, a little feel for what it's what it's like. And for many people that today it's the first time they've ever driven an electric vehicle, and it's great they're experiencing it here in a mini. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I say if I hadn't have driven the MG5, this would very well have been the first experience of an electric car. And I think over the years ahead, more and more people will experience them for the first time, and they'll become part of their their day to day lives. So, yes, of yeah. course. I mean, obviously with the way things are going, we are going fully electric mm. by, is it 2030? 2030, now? yeah. So the sale of petrol, pure petrol and diesel vehicles ends in 2030. Sales of hybrid vehicles are going to end in 2035. Right, okay. Let's go for one more lap. Yeah, go, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a bit of fun today. <laughs> I love the noises it makes, it's very space age, isn't That's it? That's right, so it's, it's there really a primary thing to um, you know, warn pedestrians that you're coming, because obviously being so quiet normally, oh, course, they yes. won't be able to hear. But if you watch any of the Formula E racing and things as well, the noise those great cars make, it is very reminiscent of those as well. Yes, of course. And of course, a Mini E is now their safety car as indeed, well. Indeed, indeed, yes. The Mini Paysetter, fantastic. That's if true. you want to come to a halt just here, that'd be fantastic, just up near the Gazebo. That's great. Cool. Oh, there we go. Court. That's fine. All good. <laughs> That's Bring right. Bring flash the lights. If you want to press P just for the part there, and then stop start button just to turn off. Just stop. Down. Oh. That's it. Fantastic. Perfect. All done. Thank you very much. My pleasure. We are now back home in the garage in my classic mini, and I'd kind of like to sum up this video a little bit. So, you've just watched my drive of the mini electric at Brands Hatch Mini Festival. We didn't really have much of a chance or much time even to do a full review or even a walk around like we have done on the channel before. So it's literally just a quick drive around in the display area that was available. However, that said, I think it was definitely enough time to get an idea of what um, the Mini Electric is like and also the kind of way that uh, Mini are approaching the future with all cars looking to um, alternative powers and alternative fuels even to uh, petrol and diesel. Obviously for allowing us to drive at the Brands Hatch Mini Festival, I'd like to thank Arden Mini and their representatives who were there on the day, Chris who was in the car with me whilst filming, and Hannah who was in the uh, Mini Countryman 
hybrid that was also there on display, which we unfortunately didn't have time to uh, have a look at. Hopefully we'll be able to have a look at both those in a little bit more depth in future. But that's it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this slightly different style of video. If you have, leave a like. Comment down below, let me know what's your favourite thing about the Mini Electric. And of course, if you want to see more car-based content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there's plenty more of it coming up on the channel very, very soon. Anyway, that's it for me from this video. So once again, thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, farewell.